riding 150 miles from his home in White City, Kansas, to meet us for a coffee. <laughs> Can you believe it? Just going to pop down the road to meet some buddies for a cup of coffee, darling. Well, I specifically rode to Kansas City to hook up with you guys at Blip Roasters. Uh, we jumped on the bikes as the rain started to come and we got caught in it, but here we are in Junction City. How windy is it, fellas? Windiest <laughs> I've ever known. Yeah, I've got an expression for it, it's sphincter tightening. <laughs> it's that windy. <laughs> we don't get me wrong, we rode lots of nice roads through Virginia and there are sections of the 50 that were really, really nice. But there were lots of it, and I guess it's still to come, lots of it, that are two lanes, either direction, just like a motorway. Uh, even though Kansas can be uh, a misconception on what it's laid out as, it has its beautiful parts as well. But, you know, uh, living here in this country, you think I'd have ridden coast to coast, and I have not, but I'd love to do it someday. So my spirits are so much higher than uh, they were yesterday. This is much more like it. Small towns, cool stuff to see. At home, as we speak, my ball of twine isn't anywhere near the size yet. <laughs> Look at that, that's cool. That's much more like it. As a pessimist, you, it gets you nowhere. Whether you look at the world in a positive light or a negative light, the world's still gonna be the same. It's your attitude that takes you places. Every time that I have an opportunity to go beyond the commute to work, it gives me an opportunity to think and understand better myself and what's going on around me. The motorcycle seems to, to give me that feeling and peacefulness that gives, gives me time to think. You know, there's, there's that certain deep down feeling that I knew that when we would meet, that we were just exactly alike. The fact that you guys can take the time and achieve this ride, uh, I think is fantastic. It's not uh, something that we all can do and I'm living vicariously through you guys I guess. I think that it's a wonderful opportunity and I uh, hope someday in my lifetime that, that I can do it as well. Jeff, what a, what a great guy, good fun, really looked after us. It was nice to be able to decompress and, and Jeff was like, hey look at you guys, you're, you're uh, you're doing really well, and do you know what? We are doing incredibly well. I had a little bit too much drink last night. Oh, it's Friday the 13th, right? <laughs> awesome! And then we've got the Rockies. And we've got the high desert. And we've got just incredible stuff to see. Awesome! I, I thought it could never get better, but every day gets better. Bike's not starting on the switch. 